Hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 17th through the 23rd. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising Signs. So Taurus, for this reading, I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Jack along with the Madame Indoors Fortune Cards. All right, very interesting. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Temperance. So the sign of Sagittarius could definitely be significant for some of you Taurians. Um, but temperance for me, very powerful healing and spiritual energy can also um, speak about balance. And because the overall energy this week for you guys, Taurus, is the Seven of Cups, which can be that very dreamy, um, can be... A, a, an emotionally scattered sort of energy, very emotional, kind of a confusing energy as, as well. Um, you know, with temperance, that energy is going to come in and kind of help balance this out a little bit. So for those Taurians that are a little bit more emotional this week or dealing with some confusion or dealing with lots of maybe choices or options on the table, um, you know, we have the energy of temperance coming in. And so if you are looking at lots of possibilities or lots of choices on the table with temperance needing to take your time, um, yeah, needing to take your time, needing to look closely at these options because maybe some of them are, are good for you, but others not so much. So really needing to be realistic and needing to look at the details um, for those of you that are maybe making an important decision or just looking at your options. We're starting out with the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which obviously represents financial abundance. For me, it's abundance in many forms. You know, happiness within the household, within the family, lots to be thankful for. Um, but the Ten of Pentacles can also represent real estate, assets, um, inheritances, things like that, that are significant because we have the tower underneath the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, for some Torians, definitely a property, a building, a home is, is significant. The tower is not automatically negative. For some of you, this is definitely a property that's significant. So if you're a Taurus that is moving house, maybe you've been looking at lots of different properties um, with this Seven of Cups here. This week, you know, you're, you're maybe checking out houses or, or apartments. Um, yeah, and so when it comes to maybe finding the one, you know, the place that you're going to be the most comfortable in or really enjoy living in, I feel like you're really going to have to listen to your intuition with this one. Um, there even could be some Taurians that if you're moving, you might be moving like back home to your hometown, to the area that you grew up in, a place that maybe you lived in when you were young. Uh, I'm definitely getting that. Uh, and with the moon here, definitely needing to listen to your intuition. And then with temperance, needing to take it slow. Needing to take it slow, don't rush into anything. And with the queen of rods here, we have the queen of rods. Maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person is significant. This could be a family member. This could be your significant other. Um, because I, I have this Ten of Pentacles, I have the Six of Cups here, I have the Two of Cups. And uh, these are two really good relationship cards. So for those Taurians um, that I'm reading for that, this is in regards to a relationship. Six of Cups can represent reconciliation. So there could be some Taurians that you're reconciling with someone here this week, or you might be hearing from someone. Um, Six of Cups, someone from your past. Or if it is someone new coming in, Taurus, um, you know, you might feel like you've known this person forever. Very comfortable, familiar feeling with this person. With the Six of Cups, for me, it is one of my soulmate cards. It's one of the best relationship cards. You can truly be yourself with this other person. You have a lot of fun with this other person. There's just a great connection and a great chemistry between you two. 
Two of Cups can represent reciprocated love, that deep emotional and spiritual connection. So there definitely could be some Taurians that you're getting into a new relationship or you could be reconciling. Um, if you're single, and I'm definitely getting that some of you are single, with the Seven of Cups, you might have a lot of suitors. <laughs> a lot of suitors, a lot of people interested in you. In particular, I feel like there is maybe a fire sign person. A fire sign and maybe even a water sign person um, that's significant here. So you might have you know, a fire sign person, a water sign person, that is interested in you but I think that you know you're gonna hear from one of them unexpectedly with this tower energy the tower which is mirroring this four of swords which the four of swords is a very independent energy for me uh, can represent some of you being single for quite some time and the tower is such a, a sudden energy things happening unexpectedly and I feel like some of you are gonna hear from someone um, the moon likes to keep things hidden so maybe someone has been interested in you it's been a secret and you could be finding out here this week or vice versa I mean you could be reaching out to, to someone you could be communicating with someone from your past or maybe meeting someone new here this week um, but take your time especially if you're single Taurus take your time you do have a lot of choices in front of you just make sure you're seeing things you know realistically um, pay attention to the details and the ace of pentacles here for some of you is representing uh, potential on the relationship front someone who has potential and then for other Taurians, you know, I feel like I'm reading for those of you that this is a relationship matter. But then for other Taurians, I feel like there is a property that's significant. Some of you are moving house. You're looking at maybe lots of different homes or, or apartments here this week. Ace of Pentacles, you will find that one. So some of you are definitely moving house with the Ace of Pentacles. Um... And also the Six of Cups here, something from the past could be significant. Um, so you could be, be hearing back from someone. Maybe you, you know, put an application in. Uh, so you could be hearing back from someone here this week. It might happen unexpectedly. And if you're already coupled, you and your partner, you and your family could be moving house. Um, or maybe just maybe making the down payment here this week. You might be actually waiting on maybe getting into the new place. You might have found the place here, here this week. Maybe you're putting the down payment, but being able to actually move in, that could happen um, maybe the last week of the month. Uh, you know, for some of you that there might be a little bit of a wait with this. You know, that's what I'm getting here. Um, but yeah, overall, it's going to be a really good week. You do have some healing energy here. So if something happened, if there was a shakeup or if something happened to you previously, um, you know, you do also have a lot of healing here, Taurus. So you could be healing some of you emotionally, some of you maybe mentally could be healing, could be catching up on your sleep. That's something else I'm getting here, Taurus. Um, you know, if you've been working a lot, maybe... Uh, some of you are going to go on a little bit of a vacay, which, you know, could be nice. But let's pull you an additional guidance card, Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know for this upcoming week? And if there was, like, something that happened between you and your partner or significant other, if there was a fight, you guys definitely could be healing and overcoming that. You know, maybe working on your relationship here this week, growing closer, having fun together. Taurus, what else does Taurus need to know?
interesting. Okay, this is very interesting. And both of these cards came out together. So we have the gate. A barrier keeps you from your goal. But then we have the unicorn. Good fortune and friendship. So this is very interesting. So with temperance... And also the moon, the Seven of Cups energy, um, you know, something could have felt a little confusing with the moon, not all is known, maybe, you know, a lot of confusion or a lot of what ifs when it comes to a particular matter and things happening gradually. So for those of you that, you know, you did have some sort of barrier or, or obstacle that you had to overcome, I think with this combination, you're, you're actually overcoming it but it's happening slowly you have good fortune coming in maybe a friend is helping you we do have that six of cups we do have that two of cups so a friend a person around you could be very significant they might be helping you kind of get around this um, you know this barrier or this obstacle that you had to overcome but you are getting over it with this combination all right, Taurus, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you guys a great week.